that's the way we bring parts for for the enclosure there's the first batch um, I'm not using all of my printers yet so purchased tables I also have um, acrylic sheets in the garage so soon it will be a nice enclosure Let's see I got those cheap LED strips for I don't know eight dollars in Home Depot the smoke detector will put inside of the enclosure um, screws and nuts and bolts uh, so I'm using PETG H box so far gave me a best result here's the quality of the parts Very interesting thing, um, when I've been sourcing parts for Warren, I um, got in touch with those heat inserts on Amazon, they were like $3 or something. They were not uh, good enough for Warren printed parts, they are smaller, but in this case they fit perfectly. Uh, so I, that's what I probably use to mount panels. Um, I'm using my Hako on 270. I tried 200, it is too low, too slow, and just regular tip, nothing crazy. So far I have three sets of legs, and I have one more set to go, waiting for it. Um, one thing I learned hard way do not over tighten those if they are going too hard they will break i use super glue and heat gun perfectly fix it it looks fine this one also cracked but super glue were able to fix it um, also uh, one more thing about that specific side where the bottom of the feet they use harder wood and we're uh, kind of screwing too close to the edge when you're screwing too close to the edge the wood is popping out it makes this part not to be seated flat what i recommend drilling holes place the part mark the hole drill a hole that that way um, you will screw you will remove excess of the wood out of there i'm using a smaller drill very tiny one it's like, I don't know, a few millimeters, but it helps big time. It also helps for screws to not go upwards or downwards. So that's one of the things I learned assembling this one. So here is an assembled thing. You have to put panels together and that's pretty much it. We should see what's gonna happen next. Acryl sheet looks like that. That's one we will put on the front side with a handle. I already put together the back side, fastened with nuts and M3 screws, um, polycarbonate. Here's the way everything looks inside. Coming closer and closer to the end. And that's how everything looks assembled. I need to add LED strips to the project and magnets for the door to close. Also, I have idea to put seal and I need to put silicone all over the border. But that's the way it is right now. The Ender 3 actually fits like very close to it. We're looking at the cable. It's pushing to the wall and clicking. If we go all the way close, it's pretty much very tight fit. If you want to close the door, that's touching. For hinges, I just used a piece of filament. I pushed it through and bent it. That is the whole thing. Uh, for magnets, I used super glue. Here and in the bottom. Holds well.
For those who've been interested, I decided to put together a list of things I spent and what was the total cost of this enclosure. Um, I spent 40 hours of printing uh, with PTG 400 grams. Uh, with all the time and electricity, it's about $10. Um, tables, white sheets behind, acrylic, bolt nuts, screws, magnets, LED strips, and silicon. So the total for me was $100. Um, I had half of those things on hands, so it was significantly cheaper for me. But if you will buy everything from scratch, that's the number you're probably looking for. Thank you. Have fun of building.